Have you always wanted to install scenarios into Civ 3 but you just didn't know where to start? Have you tried to and it comes up with this? Well today I'm going to show you how. Some of you may not even know where to find scenarios and mod packs so we're just going to start off with that step because I think that's a, a pretty logical first place to go. So a good place to look for is uh, on Civ Fanatics so you can do uh, here or you can just type in sifanax.com uh, at the top and then you want to navigate to the download section and then downloads and then here you can find both scenarios and mod packs so mod packs will be like larger scenarios um, and scenarios are just a bit more simple there's also pre-read maps um, which aren't scenarios or more packs are just the maps um there's also you can look on the forums um because not everything is in both places so you scroll down till you reach uh civ 3 and you can see here they've got all of this stuff here which is going to be completed wait that's it for um there you go free and you can see complete scenarios and there's loads here like the classic buyer and uh, etc etc we're going to uh, download and install uh, my friend skipper's mod uh, which is a nice tweak mod uh, it's, it's quite simple quite vanilla um, and I've not actually got it in my game yet so we're going to go into download that now so yeah we're just going to click down here and come up with the uh, the dialog or we'll start downloading automatically and we're just going to save it in here and it's nice in there so we can now uh, show in folder and it's nice in here uh, the next step you want to do is you want to then load up your uh, your game files um, so we're going to go if you're under Civ freeze on for steam that's going to be in this directory here um, if not it will more likely be something like uh, either like Atari infograms um, to I don't know uh, for, for, let's say for, for access and you want to make sure that you've, the mod you're getting is one that your game supports so if you have complete or conquests then your mod will your game will let you support every mod um, and then you want to figure out the right place to install it uh, if your mod is for play the world or for the base game so you play installed under the play the world direct play the world scenario directory or for base game would be the scenarios but we're going to go and install it for um, the con conquests. So I'm going to go to conquests and then scenarios. And uh, I've got lots of scenarios already. So yeah. And so you want to then like crack down. And then maybe like you may be inside another folder here, like it is in this case. Uh, you want to make sure you reach this point where you can see both a folder and the big. Because most most people who organise the downloads will organise it like this. Um, so then you'll just copy these. Don't change anything. Don't rename. Don't put this inside this. Don't just in, put this thing in. You want to make sure you've got this and this. Uh, then copy and then paste. Uh, and that's it. That's it installed. So you can see Skipper's Tweaks and Skipperpedia. Um, and then you can see like got the assets in here. And it's got the standard layout with art and text there at the top. And you'll see Skipper's Tweaks here if we load it up. Um, yeah. It's a collection of balanced tweaks and changes that she made to make Civ 3 a more enjoyable and varied experience. And you can see here the scenario search folder is Skipopedia, um, so it all links up. Um, the reason why I say not to rename it is because uh, if you're going to play this mod in multiplayer then renaming it can cause a lot of problems. Um, so it's generally just best practice just to leave it as it is. Um, so that means you can play with people without there being any problem. Um, if you've only played a single player, then you can rename the BIC, so this file, 
uh, but never ever rename the folder unless you're going to change the scenario search folder in here uh, but I'm assuming if you can do that then uh, this scenario this tutorial is not for you anyway uh, I'm just recording a quick segment to add that uh, if you just want to install a map like for example this uh, map of Arabia for play the world then all you need to do is um, just download the, the thing same as before um, to Arabia and then you can see there's both the clean and the these two here uh, these are bixes so we're actually going to stick them in the play the world directory and then you just need to stick them in here uh, you don't need to add any folders or anything because they're just using uh, the they don't have any folders of their own they're using the base game assets so yeah you often find game files which don't change the rules at all they just need to be placed in the directory like this super simple another way of in uh, of getting mods is actually through the uh, still player so free league discord uh which is definitely a must for joining um so you can go and find like go join that it's great and then you can, often there's a lot of scenarios being passed around there um and often places it's a good place to get them while in development so yeah you go find that here and then download it and then yeah i'll just go download into downloads folder and then this is actually a mod i've got an older version for already so this is actually going to be a um it's gonna i have to over overwrite uh the system files i've already so we're just gonna do this and we're just gonna uh, replace the files and destination and yeah and that will be it and if we go and launch up the game do that now we should see our, our two new mods are in there so yeah skippers fixes is a great little mod um we go find that here um it's really, uh, she's really just trying to make the uh the game as change at every single level um just because it's a random map we've uh we'll just do this um we'll play as i know she's changed changed spain a bit and yeah we're red uh, because that's a color on the spanish flag so we will found the city and yeah and we we go on to the that's not a cyclopedia go on the cyclopedia we will see um I know one change that she definitely did do while well, she's got the companion cavalry um which, which is a different place for the ancient cavalry and then you've got the cavalry which is not red to tanks so you can see the mods installed perfectly fine we've also got my mods um bot smash discovery l11 um should be right up near the top um, which is a mod which is expanding out the uh, the new world sieves so we go and do here we go on to Zipopedia and we'll go to Falcon Kachuski and yeah, you can see this is installed perfectly right as well um, so anyway uh, thank you guys for watching uh, if you guys got any questions feel free to leave them down below give us a good old a like you know wait i thought this was the other one there we go and subscribe if you want to um and yeah thank you very much for watching i hope this has helped you out and i'll see you in the next one goodbye guys